Hello. Hello. I don't know if anybody's here yet. I can't see. But hello. How are you? Okay. My other screen is not on yet. I need it to work so I can see everybody. Nine viewers. Hey. Shout out. Hi, my name is Maisha. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna wait like about two or three minutes so everybody can get on. And then hopefully I will have my other screen up by then. So I can see everybody. Okay, where y'all from? Where y'all from? Represent. I am currently living in Ann Arbor, Ace Deuce. Ace Deuce, y'all don't know anything about that. Anyway, Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's about 50 minutes away from Detroit, Michigan. What up, though? I am from Chicago, Illinois, Chi-Town. So Midwest, like, that's that's me. So where are we from in here? Represent. Greetings. I'm gonna wait two more minutes. Everybody got two minutes to get on. Oh, look. My other, I'm like trying to figure out why my other screen is not coming on because it's not plugged up. There we go, there we go. My other screen. Now I can see everybody while I do the webinar. I can see the chat. Let's pop out chat. There we go. Okay, so Minnesota. I am actually traveling to Minnesota next month for business. So I hope it's not colder than it is in Michigan. But hi, Minnesota. Mesa, Arizona. Chicago. Hey, Chicago. Georgia. Philly. Oak Park. You got to say what state? Oak Park in East Point, Michigan from Dayton, Ohio, Texas. Dirty South. Originally from Indianapolis, Midwest. PA. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to ask one more question before we start. So why, what brought you to this webinar tonight? What, what was the biggest reason you wanted to join? So I can make sure I covered this thing, these things. In the presentation today. Biggest reason you join, major question you have. We're gonna start really soon. No worries. I wanna add to my non-techie skills, okay. WordPress, website customizations, okay. So we might have to talk privately about the website customizations, I'm not gonna go Detail on the website, unless, well, I don't know what website customization means. Five page WordPress. Okay, we got that cover. WordPress. I want to be about to do things on my WordPress without paying someone maintenance, monthly maintenance. Yeah, no. Um, some customers ask me for monthly maintenance. I prefer not to do monthly maintenance. Like, it's really simple to do it yourself. And then, like, if you want me to maintain it, you give it to me. I might not turn it around for like three or four days when you could do it immediately. So definitely desire to learn, my, build my own website soon. Yeah. To find out which website platform is best for moving forward with my second business. Okay, awesome. Uh, I want to learn more about technology and building a great website, WordPress. So I'm glad you all are talking about WordPress because WordPress is my favorite, favorite platform. Yay. And um, I'm flex, fix mobile view in WordPress. Okay, and get rid of that blue crap. 
I'm guessing you like at the top, I guess. Okay. So welcome to my office slash bedroom. I hope you all can't see the back. I am in my pajamas because that's how I work today. Any work at home people, how you doing? Shout out. If not, I mean, Squarespace, we will hit on Squarespace. <laughs> okay, so I am going to start. Very, very excited. I'm going to share my screen. Find out more advanced my Wix website that I created some months ago. Okay, cool. We will talk about all of this. Okay, so I am going to share my screen. So there is a small lag. So let me screen share. Screen one. Presenter. Okay, 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 okay. Can everybody see my screen? Hope you can see it. Okay. I'm going to wait till somebody can, says they can see my screen. Yes, you can see my screen. Yay. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad you all are here. And thank you for coming on time. It's kind of small. Okay. What about that? Is that better? Rejade? All right. Okay. I don't want to chop your name up, but I hope that's better. Um, so welcome to the do-it-yourself website workshop. Um, so, so glad you're here. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you for setting some time. Um, to the side so you can like dig in and get to know more about what tools you need to build out your website and what steps you need to build out your website. So I am Maisha Jahan Williamson. I will be your guide on this journey this evening. Please stay to the end so you can get all of the goodies that I have for you and where we can have a live question and answer so I can answer your questions. Sound great? So welcome to the do-it-yourself website workshop. So a little bit about me. I'm Aisha Jahan, mechanical engineer and a software engineer. Yeah, I know like my face is beating my pictures and y'all see me in my pajamas and I don't really look like that right now, but it's okay, I'm still cute. Um, my passion is to use technology-based solutions to increase gender and socioeconomic diversity in science and technology. I'm a science nerd. I am a tech nerd. I just really like to create things using science and technology. So I want to get more women, um, especially comfortable in these, uh, using these technologies. I know we have men here too, but like my focus is to really make sure that more women are comfortable in um, these tech fields. So I have an online educational platform for girls and women where I teach them math and technology, and hopefully they will fall in love like I have. My mom said I was reading her physics books when I was five and um, her chemistry books and trying to learn and dissect. So I've always been in love with physics and solving problems um, and things like that. So STEM Girls Academy's mission, our mission is to help girls and young women overcome their anxiety of STEM by putting them in educational settings for women by women. So we believe that women role models will inspire an interest in STEM careers. And I should have brought some more pictures, but um, basically we, we just ended a six week JavaScript count, camp. And what JavaScript is, is JavaScript is what makes websites interactive. So when you touch something that moves across the screen, um, that's what JavaScript does. So we did a six week JavaScript camp for girls in Detroit, Michigan. We just finished that up. We're gonna do another uh, two, six week camps for girls in Detroit, Michigan, middle school age girls, and help them to become creators, um, really be a part of this app revolution, technology rec revolution, so they can be the next, you know, um, we don't have to say Bill Gates, we can have, you know, somebody from Detroit, from Chicago, making apps and becoming the next app millionaire. So that's my goal. So even though my focus is like building apps and things like that, I am a web developer because people come to me to ask for websites. I will 
preface this. I am not a designer. I am a developer. So I can do graphics and edit graphics, but I my clients have graphic artists do high tech graphics for them. Okay. So this workshop is for you if you are a small business owner. So you're a person with a personal brand or you need a website and you want it to do it yourself. I understand you may be first starting out, not have a lot of income coming in, um, and you have a little bit of time and you need to do this thing yourself. I understand. So what you will learn in this webinar, you will learn the tools needed before you start building your website. So this is great for people who haven't started yet, or this is great for if you're started and you're flexible to see like what is the best option for you. So I don't even know, this slide doesn't make sense, okay. <laughs> Why am I doing this webinar? I see so many people wasting money um, and with products or things that you don't need. So it's like going to the mechanic and not knowing anything about cars. So even if you do hire a web developer, I want you to be more educated about the web development process, okay? Um, so you can learn the basics. So if you contract out, um, you know what's a reasonable price for things that you want done, okay? So I want you to be more educated. I want you to be empowered. I saw this one young lady spending $300 a month for her website updates. And I saw what she was getting and it was only taking the developer like an hour. Like, I don't want you to spend that money and not know what's going on and like putting that money down a drain. Like, I want you to be empowered. So how did I get into web design? People would ask me to web design to design websites since I was an engineer. Mind you, I was a mechanical engineer who worked on cars, but people started telling me like what other developers were quoting them and what they were willing to pay me. And I was like, sure, I'll build a website for you. So I taught myself and I kept getting referrals for building websites. I kept passing them on to a friend. He kept getting all the money. Um, and I was like, okay, I need to figure out how to do this. So I became so obsessed with learning in the last about year and a half that I thought everyone should know this. So I've been teaching web development for like two years now as well. OK. So before we get started, here are some terms we need to know. Domain. Your web developer probably will ask you for this. And if you're really new, you don't might not know what it is. But a domain is, here's the formal definition, but I will just sum it up. A domain is like the address for your website. So you have the, you know, my address is maybe 1304 Woodland Drive. The domain is just the address that points you to the direction of where your website is at. It's not the website. I mean, yeah, it's not the website. It's not the space that the website is on. It's just the address that points you to the website, like the address of your home points you to it. So I'm missing. Okay. And so you also need to know what a hosting site is. So a hosting site is your land, right? So your land is what you build your website on, okay? And I'll talk about some different hosting options. So your domain is what um, points to the, the, the land and the hosting site is what is the land. Now your website is like your house. So it's like the thing that has all the, you know, the thing that you live in or this building or people see, people see the house, but they don't think about the land or the address, but your website is the house. The domain is the land and the, um, the no, the domain is the address and the hosting is the land. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, I can clarify because I rushed through that. So when your 
somebody asks you, do you have your domain and hosting? You know that a lot of people come to me and they only have their domain. They're like, oh, the domain was 99 cent. Now I can build on it. You can't build on a domain. You need hosting to build on. Those usually cost around $60. Your domain is around $10 or 99 cent, depending on who you want with. So my favorite hosting sites, I have a few, are HostGator because they have an easy to control panel. Um, if you use Wix or Weebly, they have a free Wix or Weebly site builder, unlimited disk space, unlimited emails, and bandwidth on all their plans. Uh, no contract required. You can do month to month. Um, their customer service has gotten way better and they have amazing chat and phone service for help. So like if you have a question, you have a problem, you can sign into your account and chat. And I think that's really cool. And they send you a chat transcript so you can see what you asked for help and how you worked around it. So you can go back later if you're having trouble and like walk through what they told you to do. So I can host unlimited domains on my baby plan. So that means my land that I bought, I can put as many addresses as I want on those. So I really like HostGator. So Bluehost is another really good one. They have a super modern hardware. They have free domain included, one free domain, so one free address. Unlimited disk space, emails, and transfers. They have one-on-one -on -one training, um, and they have in-house support center with tutorials. And you can save 40% with a code I have. So if you're looking for HostGator, Bluehost, I have codes on those. So GoDaddy. I know a lot of you probably have GoDaddy. I hate GoDaddy. It's the worst when I build websites for people. It's almost at the point where I will not build a site if it's hosted on GoDaddy. I transfer it to HostGator or um, HostGator first. Yeah, we'll talk about this. So the reason why I don't like GoDaddy is because they charge for everything. If you want eat, they entice you with the 99 cent. But if you need emails, yes, HostGator has WordPress. All of these host WordPress. So they charge you for like if you need email service, if you need more um, server space, like if your website is getting bigger, if you have e-commerce, they're going to charge you more. Um, any upgrades or anything, they're gonna always charge you more. So it's like 99 cents the first year and $20 the next year for just the domain and you still have um, other costs. So GoDaddy is like, everything is a la carte that HostGator and Bluehost give you for free, okay? So also if you like are having, if you're not having problems with GoDaddy and you're fine with it and you don't, need a lot of space like don't worry about transferring but if you like have problems with godaddy and you want to transfer i do free transfers from godaddy to host gator or um the other things i pages i have never even heard of i pages i can't help you okay okay so um any questions here? Because I know I just bad mouth GoDaddy and a lot of people have GoDaddy. So any questions? <laughs> okay, so Bill Johnson said he does have problems with GoDaddy. I'm just going to pause for questions really quick. Yes, that's next. Okay, the difference between Wix, Weebly, and WordPress. And I will be honest, I haven't updated this section in a few months, so some things are a little different. I have in motion. Nope. <laughs> haven't heard of them. So um, the difference between Wix and Weebly and WordPress. Um, do you want to pay more upfront or more over the lifetime of your website? So I'm going to go through the difference of these things. 
So let's compare Wix and Weebly. So Wix is a public company that owns a drag and drop website builder. More templates and flexibility, but harder to alter the code base, which means like if you want to do some custom code, it's a little harder in Wix. Um, but Wix is very, their new design is very slick. You can have, it used to be that if you built a website on Wix, it looked like you built it on Wix. But their, their interface has gotten a lot much better, a lot much better, <laughs> a lot better. So you can build a site and it doesn't necessarily look like Wix. It's very clean, um, very um, you know futuristic looking, very modern looking. So Wix has gotten a lot better than it used to be. But if you need to make a lot of customizations, like um, you need to do a lot of e-commerce, especially you need to collect a lot of data on your website. Um, Wix might not be the option for you because they will charge you for kind of like GoDaddy. They would charge you to add on these other options where you could do it for free on other things. So Weebly. Weebly owns the drag and drop website builder, very simple, similar to Wix, but it has fewer templates, but lets you make more code modifications. So basically, Weebly is way more customizable than Wix, but it's not as pretty. So if you don't know how to code, you really want to wouldn't want to use Weebly because you couldn't modify it. You want to go with Wix if these were your two options. Um, Wix is just a lot more cleaner. You don't really need to know how to code and um, yeah. But Wix and Weebly are not my first options, but if that's what you're looking at, you use Wix and Weebly. So let's compare wordpress.com and wordpress.org. So you, a lot of people get confused here. Wordpress.com is a site where you can build a free, website hosted on the WordPress platform. This comes with a lot of limitations and extra costs for add-ons. So when you go to wordpress.com, they give you your domain and your hosting, but the hosting is unreliable and it's not really good. And the domain will have blah, 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 dot wordpress.com. So it's not very professional either. WordPress.com is like more for kids um, who want to blog or if you want to blog, but you're not really concerned about analytics or it blowing up like that, WordPress.com is a great free option. But if you want to make like a real business out of your blog or your website, you don't want to go with WordPress.com. It's not very professional. WordPress.org is the content management system. So it's like a software. Um, it's not a hosting or domain. So with WordPress.org, you have to buy your domain and hosting from someone like HostGator or GoDaddy. And then you have to insert this software into the back end. It's very easy because when you go in their back end, it's just a one hit thing. It's like install WordPress, one click install. And it installs WordPress for you. So this is a content management system that helps you build websites. 75% of the internet uses WordPress.org. Wall Street Journal uses WordPress.org. Um, all the news, all the news websites use WordPress.org. A lot of big companies use WordPress.org. So WordPress.org is not like some, you know, rinky dinky thing here. Um, It's not like a rinky dinky thing. Like big time companies use WordPress.org. Okay. So some of you might be, and questions. You can always ask questions. I'm going to move on because there's a lag, but if you have questions, I'll stop. Okay. So some of you might be a little like already using WordPress and finding it a little difficult to navigate the back end. That's fine. I got you. So what I use to make WordPress drag and drop just like Wix or Weebly is, I purchased a plugin called Divi by Elegant Themes. 
So you plug this into the back end of your WordPress.org site. It costs like $79. It is so worth it, especially if you're a developer or you're going to make more websites. This is this is so amazing. Divi by Elegant Themes. A lot of entrepreneurs use this and it makes your WordPress gives it makes it so much prettier and gives you a lot more power over building your websites. You have something called child themes. So child themes are themes that you purchase to put, or they're free, a lot of them are free, that you put over your Divi theme and it just makes your website completely drag and drop. It'll give you the template and then all you have to do is like fill in the information. Okay, so let me show you example. I built this site using Divi and a child theme. So this theme already had like the elements kind of laid out like this and it had these templates like this. All I had to do was change the pictures, the words, the text to make it look how she wanted it to look. Okay, so child themes, oh yeah, those are a little confusing and I'll, so child themes, in every child themes, there's a text. And I can talk more about that offline because that's a little more advanced, but there's text instructions that you have to unzip the theme. And when you unzip it, it always has the instructions on how to install that child theme because every child theme needs to be installed differently, but it's usually pretty st simple install. Some come with video, so they'll have a video to show you how to install. So this is what a child theme does for you. It just makes it really easy. Okay. Like I said, if you have questions. So what is a child theme? What is a Divi child theme? Like I said, these are pre-made layouts for a lot of uses that making websites easier. So if you have a yoga studio, you can buy a yoga studio child theme and just figure it fill it out. If you have a coaching program, if you have a coaching program, you can buy a coaching program or life coach child theme and fill it out. Oh, let me show you another example if I can think of it. Uh, sorry. So this is a child theme. This is a wedding child theme I use. It was just wedding template. I changed the colors, the logos, the wording, things like that, it was already in the wedding layout. So that's one that I did. You have GoDaddy on WordPress, you can use Go Divi too. Yes, absolutely. You can use Divi on any WordPress. So you can install a child theme on any template that you already have Divi in. Yes, yes. So you can install a child theme over your Divi theme. You already can do that, yes. So let me show you some examples of where I get my child themes. So DiviThemeExamples.com slash Divi Child Themes. This has like all the child themes in the world. A lot of them are free. You can search free and see which ones are free. Okay. I'm going to send this out with the notes so you don't have to worry about like completely rushing to take notes. Okay. So here's my favorite. Um, child theme. This is a so be superfly.com flourish child theme. This is for any of our um life coaches. So you can see that this looks a lot like this because it is the same. <laughs> for Weebly, you do not need Divi themes because Weebly is already drag and drop. Divi themes makes what does a WordPress website look without a Divi child theme? So I mean, you can make your website look you can make your website look like these themes. It will just take a lot longer to do it yourself. Um, let me see my old website I used without a Divi theme. Just so you can see a comparison. 
it's okay, but it's not like, eh, it's bland. Nope, this is not it. That's the thing. <laughs> but, um, yes, this website. Okay, this is what it looks like without a child theme. So, I mean, it's, it's eh, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, I can make this look like a child theme. It would just take more work. And it's kind of funny. This is my personal website. I spend a lot less time on my personal website than I do on other people's sites because I don't get paid for it, which is terrible, but it's, it's true. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of what it looks like without a theme all over the place. I haven't updated this in forever. Yeah. Good question, good question. So like I said, be super fly child themes. Um, that's my favorite place. And if you purchase any of these things, I have links, like affiliate links. It will help us out if you use them. <laughs> um, so let's compare Shopify and Squarespace. Who is using either Shopify or Squarespace on here? So Shopify and Squarespace are for e-commerce or if you're selling digital products. For Shopify, you have, actually, I want to pause. I'm sorry. I want to go back. I didn't talk about, I see a lot of people, I want to go back. I see a lot of people saying, should I use Wix, Weebly, or should I use WordPress? And I sure, I'm sure a lot of us want to know, like, what platform should I use? So if you have a basic business, well, not, every, not a basic business, but if your website just needs basic functionality, like you need an informational site, and that's it, like there's no transactions going through your site or anything, like e-commerce, um, Wix is fine, but it will eventually be more expensive than using WordPress.org. But you can pay monthly, it's like $15 a month, not that bad. So um, Wix is fine. I really wouldn't suggest Weebly for someone who doesn't know how to code, but Wix is fine. But if you need transactions, if you need e-commerce, um, if you need um, a lot of high-end, not high-end, but just like analytic stuff, if you need have a blog and you really want to capture who's going on your blog, if you want to upload a lot of videos, I would really strongly suggest WordPress.org, okay? And it's just more customizable and a lot more to do. Um, or if you have an informational site, better than Wix is Squarespace. And I'm about to talk about Squarespace right now. Embedded streaming, depends on how much, but I would do WordPress for embedded streaming. Definitely. So Shopify, Squarespace. So Shopify, short answer, use Shopify if you have physical products. Shopify is better. If you have digital or downloadable products, Squarespace is fine. But you can do um, digital products or downloadable products through WordPress as well. So you can use WooCommerce plugin to use those for WordPress. But Shopify, definitely, if, you, if you're selling weave, if you're selling shea butter, anything like that, you're gonna use Shopify, okay? Um, yep, Shopify has dropped shipping. Shopify is just hands down the best for any type of physical products. Squarespace, if you want something really easy and really clean and really fast, you can make a Squarespace website and probably like, two hours. It's going to be more expensive than WordPress.org over time. But I mean, if you just need something simple, informational, that's it. Squarespace is a really good option. So let's check out Shopify versus WooCommerce. So pros, WooCommerce. So linking e-commerce to the website. So all you have to do, and I can like find a video to send to, but you download whatever your Shopify 
Squarespace doesn't have a plugin, but you download your Shopify plugin to your WordPress site. So you can search plugins on WordPress and download it to your, I mean, yeah, download it to Shopify, okay? So it's, it's a built-in integration. So another WordPress option is WooCommerce and WooCommerce is free. Shopify, you have to pay $15 a month. So WooCommerce is cheaper than Squarespace and Shopify. There's more website customization. Um, the con is, is a higher learning curve than other platforms. Shopify is way easier than WooCommerce. Um, but I mean, for me, I just learned WooCommerce. WooCommerce is kind of simple. YouTube is your friend. Um, so yeah, it's just, those are the pros and cons. So if you really, really don't want to move from Wix, like if you really don't want to move from Wix, there should be a Shopify plugin for Wix. Okay, Aisha. Aisha saying, I have Wix because I've spent so much money for that site to be built and I finally know how to work it. But I have an online boutique, so I need to move to Shopify now. Okay, so that's what Aisha said. Now, if you really don't want to move from Wix, they have a Shopify platform. But what I would suggest was to do the, use that Shopify platform for now and over the next year, gradually move your website to either WordPress or 100% Shopify. Uh, one of my friends has 100% Shopify. She doesn't even use WordPress. Um, let me think of, yeah. So, and this is her site. And she said it has, I mean, the world, her, oh, and her products are dope. But they have curl mix, and this is how her site looks. I, I mean, it's all about your pictures, really, over anything. But this is her site. See, she has YouTube videos, her products. So she has really cute pictures. So that's how her site, 100% Shopify. Okay, I just started with Weebly and I sell custom clutches. I'm tired of spending money. Yeah, um, Weebly is not the best option for you. Shopify is, but Shopify is still going to be $15 a month too, um, depending. I don't know how much Weebly is. Keep the questions coming. So... I'm going through the tools you need for your website. So best places for free pictures, $35. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we got to switch, switch you off, man. $35 a month. No. Um, so the best places for free pictures. So the pictures are the most important thing about the look of your website. Most important. Don't even try to build your website without high quality stock images because this is not gonna be seconds. It makes a huge difference on how people react to your site about the quality of pictures. Here are some places you can get free pictures. Pixabay.com, Stock, Snap, Pexels. I'll send these in the um, thing. So yeah, she's an IP attorney. So that's the other thing. You want pictures that you have the rights to, right? And these are open access pictures, or I, I don't know the right word right now, but you have the rights to use these pictures, places for free pictures, okay? You don't want to take random pictures off the internet and use them. That's not legal. You can get sued. I don't know the whole whatever about it, but you, where you get your pictures is so important. I have a trick. I have a trick on how I get my pictures, okay? And let me show you a website I made. I made this a long time ago. Black. I don't know why Black Planet is coming up in my thing because I don't, never went to Black Planet. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So let me tell you a trick about the photos. It's really, really hard to get photos of black people or people of color in office settings or in love. So <laughs> what I did was ask my Facebook friends, could I use their pictures, okay? So I asked them, could I use, this was a dating site. I asked them, could I use their engagement photos? So they gave me the rights to use them. You know, you use your engagement photos once and nobody ever sees them again, right? So for several websites, I have used my friend's engagement photos. And look, it looks so much, I wish I had a, like a before of how this looks. It looks really genuine, right? Because they are real photos. <laughs> you can ask your friends to use their photos. And you know your friends who always slay those photo shoots, ask them, can you use them? All right, so I, um, what I use to edit my pictures. So if you're doing simple, simple editing, editing, <laughs> Canva is really good for resizing your photos, is really good for adding, putting images together, um, making flyers. Actually, Canva is bae. I use Canva almost every day. So you might as well just, well, no matter what you do, figure out what Canva canva is so how to add awesome text to your photos in seconds word swag word swag swag makes really cool graphics um you can upload photos and add like words over it really really simple things like that so really word swag is on your phone it's not as customizable as canva but the pictures come out a little bit sexier. The fonts are a little bit sexier. So where is why? We are moving on to the next section of this presentation. We had a lot of information. So I want to stop again and say, are there any questions? Man, we are moving actually very slowly through this presentation. <laughs> but that's great because everybody has a lot of questions. So um, actually, we only have two more sections and we're good, okay? So the number one way to make a clean, stylish copy. So any feedback, how are we doing? How do we feel about this information so far? Good, helpful information, okay. So the number one way to make clean, stylish website, copy, not copy literally, but like go look at other people's websites, Okay, my questions need to be offline. Okay, good. So, so yeah, so copy. Look at people's websites you like and take elements of the website you like. You know, don't just completely steal it, but find inspiration on other people's sites. So, okay. So it's okay, Aisha, if you waste the money, we're gonna save you from wasting any more money. That is like literally why I'm here. Okay, so website inspiration. Every coach wants their website to be like Marie Forleo's. Marie Forleo is like the Oprah of life <laughs> coaching. Uh, LOL, I'm over here laughing as an attorney. Don't completely steal it. Like I had to like change my words, right? I'm like, oh yeah, I got an attorney on here, right? No, <laughs> but um, don't completely. Um, steal her stuff but like everybody a lot of people were asking for marie forleo's and i'm in like these developer groups and they're like oh my god everybody wants more free before leo's website but they only have 300 dollars to spend you are not going to get marie forleo's website on 300 dollars, just so you know that like people be like this looks easy this looks simple look it's just blocks it's just pictures that's it <laughs> steve jobs he has this quote it's really, really, really hard to make things look really simple, okay? To make it look clean and um, flawless, it's a hard process. This is a WordPress site. I am going to say she probably spent $10,000 on this site. Not that you have to spend $10,000 on this, but I'm pretty sure her developer charges more. I'm pretty sure she has a video. This is a video coming in. Um, she probably went through a branding process, finding the words, the perfect text, things like that. Um, had a stylist come out, professional photographer, things like that. 
So, you know, and a graphic artist. So, yeah, it's just going to be a little bit more. So, don't come to me with $600 and ask me to build this site. It's not going to happen for you. It's not. I'm sorry. Um, so, if you want to see the next. <laughs> more than $300. <laughs> so um, the next thing I go to is Apple. You go to apple.com to see the latest website trends, right? How people are building their websites. So it used to be everything was on the single page. Remember that where you scroll down forever and like each section of that one page was a page. So that's how Apple's site used to be and everybody else copies off of Apple. So now they changed. They changed from the last time I gave this presentation. It's cool. So it's, yeah, it's like a big header, a big stupid header picture, and then their icon up here, menu across the top, shopping at the right, and then like sections down here. Usually it would be three, but they're Apple. They do what they want to. But big hero image, that's what it's called. So let me show you an example, just like up here. So notice we had the big, we had the menu up top. She did her logo in the middle, a big hero image right here, and then some sections. Same here. Wait, wait, where's Maya? Maya, Maya, Maya. I don't know. So Maya Ellis, she usually does it. Big hero image. Logo up logo in the middle, menu up top, hero image, and then like three sections. That's standard website. Standard websites are like that. Okay. So we're in the next section now. Four things your website needs to be a sales machine. Okay. So you need a way to capture visitor emails. So you either need a pop up, newsletter sign up, or opt in side in bar. So when somebody visits your website, you need a way to keep in touch with them, right? So they don't want you don't want them to forget you. Let's see if a pop-up comes in. I X out of it though. So on my janky site, if you go to my homepage, it's my old site, don't judge me. If you go to my homepage, a pop-up should come up. Yep, here we go. Pop up on the side, you leave your name, email, subscribe. This is like the number, one of the number one ways to build my email list. Um, so if you have MailChimp, MailChimp is your newsletter or email collector. Um, Divi or Elegant Themes has a plugin called the Monarch plugin that is a beautiful plugin that captures your emails and has beautiful pop-ups. Let me see if someone has a beautiful pop-up that I can show you. On this site, should. Anyway, I don't have a, an example of the Monarch plugin, but how do you put in a pop-up? So. It's another plugin, which means is when you go on the back in your WordPress. So what was that? What was what? Was Divi? Oh, yeah, this was yes, Divi. So Divi has a Monarch. It's called the Monarch plugin. And it's just a back end plugin. Let me see, it should be here. Not events. Scroll down. You have this pop-up, can't make the workshop. 
this plugin. Yep, Monarch plugin. It comes with your Elegant Themes purchase and it just makes your, your email capture a lot easier. So this automatically links to my MailChimp. So when somebody fills this out, it's on the back end of my WordPress and it sent, populates their email to my WordPress, um, to my MailChimp. So you need to make it easy for people to contact you and follow you on social media. A mistake I made with this website is um, one thing I tutor. So this comes up in my tutoring videos, this website, and people will have to track me down and try to find my, my information. You should have your, you can put your phone number up here somewhere, or you need to have a contact me at the bottom, or you need to have your social media up here. You need to make it really easy for people to follow you. I'm trying to, can you use Divi pop up with Squarespace? Squarespace should have their own pop up. They should have a MailChimp plugin. How do you link MailChimp to your website? So every website has a different way. So Squarespace, Wix, they're gonna have different way. So you look in their help section, or you can go to MailChimp's help section, and they'll show you how to to link it. It's a pretty simple process. But depending on Squarespace or what you have, it's different. So Sorry Style Events, at the bottom of every page, I put a contact. And her, her email and phone number and social media are right here. And this is on the bottom of every page. Make it easy for the people to con contact you, okay? Don't make them have to search you down. You're going to lose sales. How much is MailChimp to pop or monitor? MailChimp is free um, up to your first 200 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers. And Monarch comes with your Divi plan, which is $90 a month when you or $90 a year. When you buy Divi, so MailChimp is actually free up to 2,000 if you don't use certain features. And you can use automation now up to 2,000. I just got to 2,500, so they just started charging me. But um, so make it easy for people to buy something. Like, especially if you sell things on websites, you want to make it very easy. Um, my STEM Girl Social Network is bad. Like I said, that's just a bad example. Um, so for example, if you have people, if you sell something on your website, you want to have the cart in the menu section. So you know, so they know that there's a cart section. So Apple does a really good job at this. They wanna sell their iPhone X. That's the big thing they wanna sell. So that's their hero image on their first page. Whatever is the main thing you sell, especially if you mostly sell products, put it on your front page and make sure it links, um, this image links to where you can buy it. Okay, so you want to make it really, really simple. Okay, no, it, it doesn't link to where you can buy it because Apple's extra. Oh, it says buy. Good. <laughs> make the buy buttons really, really clear. Yeah, they just changed. MailChimp just changed where they. Um, so if you have under 2000, anybody can ask for their money back because I did not your money back, but stop paying. <laughs> um. So make it easy to share with a friend or social network. So make it easy to share blog posts, web pages, et cetera. Again, Elegant Themes has the Monarch plugin. So let me go to my blog on here. My blog, just one thing I did do right. So if you go to my blog, on STEM Girl Network, at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see. It's like at the bottom you can share on social media because I have that plugin. So you wanna make it really simple for people to share things. And you can do the same thing if you have products. Under each product, you can put a share button, okay? And so you want testimonials sprinkled out through your website if you sell things. Like Soray style events, so we put testimonials on her about page, on her home page. 
So every page that you go through, there has testimonials. Like you want people saying good things to you. Apparently testimonials like t give you a 25% increase in sales because people trust you more when you have testimonials. So those are the five things I want you to have on every website, okay? So we're moving through. Other tech tools to make business easier. Acuityscheduling.com. I am a tutor and I have appointments for tutoring and websites. This has made my life so much easier. It saves on the back and forth of emailing back and forth. So I use Acuity Scheduling. It links up with my Google Calendar. Um, they can pay in Acuity Scheduling, so you can't hold that appointment until you pay. It gives you all the documents, any surveys or anything I need you to fill out before I meet with you. So I don't have to do all this email back and forth, all these questionnaires, frequently all asked questions. You can put it in acuity scheduling. It, it saves me about five to six emails using acuity scheduling um, per client. Worth my time. It's like hiring an assistant. Teachable.com. This is where I host my classes. Classes I teach, online classes, teachable.com is a great platform. It makes it a lot easier to host online classes. They have free plans. How much is Acuity? Acuity is free or $10, $20 a month. So depending on what you want, it can be free or $20 a month. But for me, that's the best $20 <laughs> that I'm spending in my business all month, honestly. It's like, like I said, hiring an assistant. And I will have all this in the notes. I'll send out notes to these with all my affiliate links. So if you do purchase, purchase through my affiliate links, I get a little kickback. Not a lot. I might get a dollar, but it helps me do these free webinars. So we have Teachable as a platform and we have Thinkific as a platform. It's another platform for hosting um, classes. The benefit of Thinkific over Teachable, Teachable, when you get paid, they hold your money for 30 days in case you have like any refunds or anything like that. Think if it gives you your money immediately. The reason I like Teachable more, Teachable has a lot more support, a lot more help. It's easy to use to me. It's a better interface. And they give you all this free training. So all these like high-end career coaches and things like that, um, when you are a Teachable member, you get access to training that they might charge $1,000 for for free. So I really like Teachable because of that. I'm sending out notes, so don't worry. MailChimp.com, I mentioned that before. You want to hook Monarch to MailChimp. This is what, um, like I said, I'm not a designer, but this is what my website looks in MailChimp.com. You have to have something to capture emails. Your emails are your number one sales drivers. So like emails give you a higher rate of return than social media because these are people who have committed to be in your email list and you can email them whenever you want to. Social media, you don't control that reach. The platform controls that reach. So you might not have as many people open them. So MailChimp is really, really important. So I tried to speak through that. It was all of this good information and any questions? Can you record your classes on those platforms as well? Yes, they have re recording software in those platforms. So what about if you want your own community on your site versus using Teachable? So yeah, you can definitely, there's something called BuddyPress and that's a free plugin that you can use um, in your WordPress site. So you, BuddyPress, I used it before, it works great. And you can charge, I think. But um, so all this good information, good, any questions? I'm going to pause for questions. Okay, cool. So I know a lot of you want to dive deeper into this information. Okay? So I have options for people who need to dive deeper. So why were you here today? I'm assuming you want to simply create a beautiful website in the fastest amount of time. So you don't know where to start and you don't even know where to Google. So I hope. There were a lot of questions. I stopped a lot more than usual, but I hope that at least you know the difference between some things now and you know what to Google, right? That's the biggest thing. You don't know what you don't know, right? Squarespace is easy to build. Yes. 
very easy. Simplest. It's the simplest. It, you just can't customize it like WordPress, but it's the easiest and cleanest. If you need something like tomorrow, use Squarespace. So you don't know where to start. You don't even know where to Google. So you still may be wondering, how do I put all these pieces together? So I gave you the tools, right? And now it would take me another several hours to show you how to put all these tools together, right? Um, so you have two options. You can continue to Google everything, which is fine. You can piece all this information yourself. I gave you all the tools you need. YouTube and Google are your friend. They are. They were my friend. Or I can help you. You can be strategic. You can have me guide you step by step. And you can save time by knowing how and what to Google. So I want to introduce you to my course, Website in a Weekend. And it was hosted on Teachable. I'm still stuck on spending 35 hours a month on Weebly. Yeah, don't need to do that, ma'am. No need to do that. We can... We can talk about that. We need to switch to something else. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to my do-it-yourself web website in a weekend. So everything you need to know to get your small business website up and running in a weekend. So this is a course I host on Teachable. So do-it-yourself website in a weekend is the absolute fastest way to get your clean and beautiful website up and running in a weekend. So what you will get in this workshop, I will, I will share a screen share. So I do a screen share as I set up domain and hosting. So you can see the exact steps as I set up domain and hosting. I did it for Bluehost and I did it for HostGator. I will show you how to edit your website easily. I use Divi to edit your website. Um, how to make dope free and low cost graphics for your websites. So I'll show you how to use Canva. I show you how to use Pixlr um, to edit your graphics and how you need to edit them to make um, hero images. Uh, so I show you how to make your website look clean and elegant and professional, and I show you how to save thousands of dollars by building yourself. So basically, it's basically a screen share, and I I cut them up into little sections of me building a website. So you get to see the behind the scenes of me building a website and how I do it in my process, how I organize the website, how I save all the information. You know, you got a million logins, right? How to put all that login information in one place what you need, what's the most important for you um, step by step in this workshop. So what you will build is a clean, elegant, professional and fully functioning website in one weekend. So the total value of these websites are twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred thousand, especially if you have a. A um, e-commerce site. This is what I've talked to other developers, you've seen other developers, this is what they charge for websites five page standard site if you want something clean and quality so your total investment is um sixty dollars for hosting and domain ninety dollars for the dv builder seventy five dollars optional for a premium theme um you can get a lot of free themes um and a hundred dollars for the workshop recording and so this is one these are one time this is a one time price this is for a year. This is for a year. Um, it's not even 90, it's like 70. Um, and that is what you need to get your website up and running. Okay. So under, so 100, 200. Math is wrong here. I don't know what was wrong going on. I'm supposed to be a mathematician. <laughs> but 100, so you had 100, 190. 190 plus 60. So under $150 you can get your website up and running, okay? So the normal price of my class is $100, but thank you, thank you for joining me today. And I'm going to give it for $50 for everyone who joined this webinar. So I'll send out all that information. Thank you for joining me. So $50 for everybody who joined this webinar. And as soon as you get it, you can get started on building your website. You can have your website done before Christmas. And of course, I have a bonus. So I have a free 30 minute website consultation for people who purchase by tonight, by midnight. So we hop on Skype or we hop on Google and you show me what's going wrong with your website. If you, you can spend that 30 minutes telling me to do something for you. That's fine. 35, 40 minutes, do something for you, troubleshoot something for you, show you how to do something. 
So that's my bonus to you. If you buy this program before midnight tonight, I will give you my time. I charge $65 an hour for tutoring. So <laughs> buying this course for $50, I'll give you half an hour to 45 minutes of my time for free. Okay. So where do you go get this course? MaishaJ.com slash product slash DIY website. Okay. And I will send this out. You can screenshot this, whatever. But Maisha, I just don't want to do this. Can you just build it for me? Thank you. Great deal. <laughs> because after I go through this and after people find out like what the work is, there's still some people who are like, I don't want to do it. It's cool because you don't want to spend your time doing it. I understand. I have something for you as well. So yeah, I like pink. <laughs> so I have love your website. You have five pages. I include the hosting, domain, and premium template for $1,600. So that's all included in the price. So I buy the hosting. I buy the domain. I'll buy, you know, the Divi membership. And I'll buy your premium template. You can choose what premium template you want. Or I'll find one that search for you, suits you, and $1,600. And I'll have that turned around for you in three weeks. Okay? Only have three spots at the most for that a month. Okay? Um, so any questions, any final questions? We had a lot of questions tonight. Thank you for joining me, ladies. Okay, so what's a premium template again? Let me go back. Actually, let me share my screen again. How do you get the hourly tutoring? I can send that to you in the notes as well, okay? So the hourly tutoring, tutoring I have on uh, Acuity. And you sign up for tutoring. Yes, you add it to your non-tech brain. Yay, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to what the premium, this is an example of a premium theme or pre, yeah. So it's a pre-filled theme that I go back and fill in what I want. So I can go to Divi Child Theme Examples. And so it has a lot of Divi Child themes here. So just going to click on a random one. So there's a gym and fitness premium theme. So you buy the theme. It already looks like this. This one looks pretty good. So it already looks like this. It's This one's $50. So you view the demo. So it's, it, it's like ready to go. All you have to do is plug in your own things into it, right? It's ready to go. Looks really clean. Looks like really professional, like a professional made it, right? All you have to do is change out the pictures, change out the colors, and your website is ready to go. How do you feel about lead pages? Waste the money. I heard you can use Divi to create custom pages, kind of how we set up for this webinar. So I use lead pages as the lead page to this webinar. I do not feel like lead pages is a waste of money. I used to think it was a waste of money, but since I use lead pages, I had the highest conversion on this webinar that I've ever had, ever. I put this webinar out like three days ago and 210 people signed up. Um, it was like a 75 to 80% conversion rate. Usually my conversion rate is like 50% and usually I don't have, so lead pages, even though it costs more, it's something, I don't know, it's something that makes the conversion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why lead pages is so high. I I have a code. I have a code. I can't give it out. 
talk to me, Miss Richmond, <laughs> and um, I'll talk to you offline more about lead pages. Any other questions? Email me already. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so thanks. Yeah, if anybody, let me know if you purchase the DOI class. Purchase tonight, you get the free 45 minutes of website tutoring. And I will send you a link to sign up for that consultation as well. So I hope this was good information. I feel like I'm going to be up late answering emails, but hey, yay. So we feel better. Do we feel better about our websites? It's like, okay, so I teach Bible study too. And it's kind of weird when I'm like saying stuff and like, everybody's silent. <laughs> I'm like, how was it? Okay, good. Great, very helpful, good, good. I just want to give you all good information. Um, <laughs> Aisha, you mad? Don't be mad. Email me, email me. We'll talk. Okay, you can make some tweets now. <laughs> okay, good information. <laughs> Yes, I will be emailing you all through the email you signed up for the class. I'm just stuck. Just stuck on what? Stuck on what? Email me. Okay. I will be emailing the notes. I will be emailing up how to sign up for this class. Give me about an hour. I will be emailing all the affiliate links, all the links to, <laughs> I'll probably have you still build my website. That's fine, that's what I'm here for too. <laughs> you guys are in my office slash bedroom, it's kind of funny. Yes, replay will be sent to you. Actually, you can just save the link that I sent to you. Within in about a half an hour, it'll be a replay. If you, I can't, Letitia, if you want to stick with it, that's fine. You can stick with it completely. It's cool. You were doing Wix, right? If you're doing Weebly, I don't know. But if you want to stick with Wix, that's, that's no problem. Want to how to upload and do your own maintenance. So, yeah. The course, the $50 course would be great for you to how to learn how to do your own maintenance. It shows you how to change the text, how to change the font, how to change the pictures, any of that. So um, for $50, you know, you can save a couple hundreds or hundreds a month. So I usually charge about $50 to $75 a month for maintenance. So like one month worth of maintenance. No, I'm trying to save coins, Weebly. Girl, girl do what you want to do. <laughs> Add products to sell. Yes. So the fifty dollars course shows you how to add products as well. There's so many saving this point. Yeah. Letitia, email me exactly. Email me your website so I can see it. So I can see. So I can tell you exactly what you need. Also, what I do as well, because like for other people who have gone through my online course they be like my isha you didn't show us how to do this you can email me when you're signed up in the course and you can say my isha this doesn't show me how to do this i will record a video and upload it to the course to show whatever you ask for because you have the online 
Aisha, I have Wix, but now I'm thinking because I have the online boutique and I just purchased the store version in Wix like last week. I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't do Wix for a boutique. You want to do Shopify? Shopify for your boutique. You can email me your boutique too. Do you work with one page hosting, one web hosting? I haven't seen it, but if you send it to me, I will investigate it. But I mean, people have sent me weird hostings and I figured them out. Like hosting sites are pretty similar. So if you could send me one page hosting, I can investigate it. I can figure it out. Maisha's Bay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, y'all, I'm single too. So if y'all want to find me a bay, like that's a problem. So no, this is random, but like I hook people up. Like I've hooked four couples up that have gotten married. So like I feel like the universe and God and Jesus <laughs> should, you know, tell me. I should like say at the start of every webinar, this is what I'm looking for. Like I have like 50 people on here listening to me. You all know somebody probably. <laughs> Yes, thank you. So I have the online boutique. Okay. Relationship coach. Okay, cool. Dope. Okay, email me your website. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can switch for you or I can switch for you, Jocelyn. Email me. So I do free switches. I never worked with one web hosting. I don't know. So if you call one web hosting or HostGator or whatever you want to switch to, they'll walk you through the switch process. Email me and say Say in the um, subject line that you want to switch. Chicken side. So I've never heard of iPages. Just because I never heard of it doesn't mean it's not legit. Um, I just never heard of it. <laughs> so, I mean, what I did was when I started, I look at like the top two, top three web hosting, and I only re really work with those. So if it's not top one or top two, um, iPages might be just a new platform that I don't, I don't know about. There's a lot of things I don't know though. Like um, I build, uh, apps completely from scratch. So I build them like with code from scratch. So there are platforms where you don't have to build them from scratch. And uh, just learned about those. It would save me a lot of time. Okay, what if I want you to build my site, but I purchased the domain from Google? Would that be okay? Yeah, it doesn't matter where you purchased the domain. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just sitting answer questions. So I'm gonna stay on for two more minutes because this like gonna be really long. But I'm staying for two more minutes to ask questions, and then after that, you can um email me. Do I tutor on app building also? Yes, I do. I teach app building. T 
teach ad building mostly to little girls, middle school girls, but if there is en en enough of a demand from women, I would, but usually most women want to learn how to use WordPress. So that's what I usually teach women. Okay, I'm gonna shut this chat down. So thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. You have my email and email me any questions. Put do it yourself website workshop in the um, in the uh, title so I can see. And thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. Thank you. Do I have a coaching package? I can make one. <laughs> I just have like individual hours. Um, people pay for individual hours. You look 12, so you come to class. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I can find enough women who are interested in building an app, I would definitely build a class, do a class on that, do an online class. But I'll send you out, I'll send you guys out all my free classes so you can see my teaching style and things like that. You kind of get my teaching style. This is not my teaching style. This is more like information. But I'm going to stop the broadcast now. Email me questions. All right. Good night. <laughs>